where I would love to start is that you have, you have a post on Insta on Instagram that says it's hard to spot the red flags in adulthood when growing up, we thought they were green ones. And I just thought that would be a perfect quote to welcome us to this week's focus, which is recognizing our adaptations. Mm -hmm. And so that is my first question is how can we recognize our adaptations if they're the water that we're swimming in? Yeah, adaptations for me are, you know, I call them survival strategies. So they're things that we've adopted, things, ways that we've learned to cope. You know, so if we have grown up and we've had a mother that's been quite critical or cold or inconsistent, you know, we find ways to adapt to that. We find ways of coping with that situation. You know, so there might be so many ways that we do that. You know, and as children, we were never even conscious of the fact that we were doing it. We just learned that, you know, if we were worthy, then our mum would, would show us that we were loved. So maybe we're not. So maybe we've got to earn it. Maybe we've got to do something, you know, and that's where the adaptations come in of maybe I need to be better to show that I'm good enough and I'm worthy of my mother's love. Mm. And I guess in all of that, you know, there's so many ways we might do that. Um, yeah, you know, I, I guess some of the clients that I work with, they struggle with things like perfectionism, you know, the idea that you can, might get anything wrong would lead to feeling criticised or abandoned, you know, so whatever cost we've got to avoid it. So that's interesting. And I want to underline what you just said is that perfectionism um, mm. as one sign. And the reason I want to underline that is as someone's listening, that might not have seemed like an adaptation before. I know sure, yeah. for sure in my young life, I didn't see that as an adaptation. I saw that as a like, I get things done. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I guess these adaptations in the short term, it gives us, it, it relieves us of this feeling, the anxiety, for example, of not being good enough. So we do it, but actually in the long term, it becomes problematic. So we might be high achieving, we might be really successful, we might work really hard, we might see ourselves as being super caring and supportive in relationships. But actually, over time, it becomes problematic because it means that we lose our sense of self. We don't know who we are anymore we're completely burnt out you know we're so crippled by procrastination that we can't get anything done you know it really begins to have an impact on us I love that you just tied that short-term like story that I just gave into the longer term pieces um because yeah that that over helping that high achieving the consequences the cost of that is further in the future so like the, the in the Ben and Jerry's example like the cost is immediate like I feel it I see it I know it in mm -hmm. that overworking over helping over explaining perfectionism pieces like the the cost comes it's more subtle it's down the road yeah yeah I guess, you know, I guess some of the more subtle ones might be resentment so when we've said that we're going to do something that we really don't want to do, but we've arranged to do that and we think, oh man, I, I really don't even want to do that. Why am I doing this? You know, we begin to become resentful. Um, I love that. We begin that. to feel stressed out. I love having these clues. <laughs> <laughs> That's been, yeah. again, because if like we go back to your Instagram post, if it's the water we swim in, if, if we don't see that as a red flag, but now I'm hearing these clues, like, besides just naming some of the, the, the things that may be adaptations, the clues of resentment or stress, or, you know, we were talking right before this, a bit we hit record, but maybe fatigue. Um, yeah. yeah. Probably my food sensitivities. <laughs> sure. Yeah. And I think all along they were always there. The clues have always been there, but we've just never been allowed to listen to them. Mm. You know, we've kind of grown up having to please our mother and make sure they're okay and tiptoe around and, sacrifice ourselves that it's never been okay to listen to ourselves and how we feel to have our own choice to have our own boundaries 